ice, frost, whatever else you call that. Hey, I got a paint sprayer back here. Water in the lines, water in the pump, probably frozen. Certainly got ice in the bottom of that bucket right there. Truck sounds a little funny. Can the lines of a paint sprayer freeze? I'm sure they can. And what happens when they do? I'm sure we'll find out. Next time we go to crank that paint sprayer up. Knock on wood, hopefully it'll be okay. All right, hey, what's going on Tuesday morning? As I begin this, And what, if anything, is on the work schedule? Well, we've got property seven scheduled for today. A unit. Probably guaranteed to be a color change. And are we painting that unit? Haven't heard from Property 7 since, uh, you know, the last unit that we did. The last unit that we didn't finish, but did everything in our power to, to try to finish it. They just ghosted us. Paid me for the unit. I guess the short of it is, are we fired from that property like we've been fired from Property 8? Well, it's 7.41 in the morning, and I guess I'll find out soon enough. Because I got to message them and... If I don't hear anything back, then fuck them. Also, I think to myself, what if they do message me back? Should I just say, fuck them? And quit them? Because it is them that not only has cost me property eight, but also basically cost my wife her job. There's so much to this story. There really is. And there's a whole video about getting thrown under the bus and a video I really want to share with you and a video that is coming sooner than later. That's certain. Anyways, we'll find out about all of that soon enough. So what else is going on? Hey, today is a day all of filming. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to spend this entire day filming videos. I've got a new project I'm getting ready to begin for After Prison Show. That starts today, and it's another uh, introduction, basically, of a guy who served a boatload of time, life after 40 years in prison, if you remember the Danny story, and so many others like it, life after 28, uh, Banky story, Jew man. This is going to be another story similar, except totally different, and done for the same reasons. Introduce this person, let them share, let them gain some notoriety or, you know, hopefully they would do that and then and then send them on their merry way with their own channel so that they can create their own thing. The whole Simon Cowell of this and all. Uh, that's what I hope to be able to, to, to do today. So, Let's go ahead and address a couple of other things. Um, talked with Bo about the unit from Friday that we went and saw yesterday. And I really don't know how much of that I actually shared in terms of talking about Fire and Bo. And this is the final straw. And it is just one thing after another. Thank God I caught that unit. I got to try to weigh the uh, the pros and cons here. You know, Bo held things down for me while I was gone, but, you know, did he? Hopefully he did. I like to believe that he did, and maybe this unit was just one and a few that came out looking like a shit show. Carpet destroyed. I would send Tom back in there yesterday. Actually, it's Tom who I'm getting ready to do this full-on uh, introduction of over on after prison show the nicest guy you could ever meet in prison something along those lines but anyways Tom went back in there 
and scrubbed the shit out of those carpets, scrubbed the shit out of the unit, touched up things where things needed to be touched up. I'm actually going back to that unit right now to look at it and to make sure everything's good and to take the paint up out of that unit. So what else? In terms of work for the week, there are literally three units. Two, if property seven doesn't go, and both of those units I believe are at property, property two. I'm hoping that other work is gonna come through for the week, and it should. <clears throat> the problem is, how bad is this gonna fuck me with my workers? I've already reached out to Donald and Milton. Milton's sick right now, but I've reached out to both of them saying, hey look, you know, there's not a lot going on this week. I'm gonna to try to find some work, so we'll see. Next week, of course, we'll be back booming again. And who knows, maybe these two or three units will turn into 15 this week. That would be great. Regardless, it's gonna be a productive, fruitful week. So, slack work week. Haven't talked with Najee very much. Haven't talked with Hasten at all. Uh, and other, another new guy is you know, probably in limbo as well. It is what it is, I really can't do, I really can't do but so much. I can't do what I don't got. My son slept pretty well last night, was up with him throughout the night, so that was, you know, expected. He's getting more acclimated. Uh, people have been giving me awesome advice and suggestions and I really appreciate all of that. My in-laws leave town this morning. They've been here since he was born. Um, and then it's just my wife and I. And yesterday we actually went out quite a bit with our son for the very first time. Uh, we went to lunch, we went shopping a little bit. He was completely covered up, encapsulated from this sick world, but he did great. It really was a, a false positive because of the fact that he slept the entire time. He did not wake up not once. So we haven't had the full spectrum of what it's like when he's freaking out, but I'm sure we will and we'll handle that accordingly. Anyways, that's about all I got. Sun's glaring in my eyeball first thing. On our way to property three first thing, are we gonna hear from any other properties? And a final thought real quick about property seven if property seven has shit on us and completely shit canned us, that's kind of shitty, sorry for all the shits, that they didn't let us know like property eight did. Property eight would send me an email and all it said was, hey, cancel every unit that we've scheduled with you, which was about three or four. They didn't say why, they didn't say you're fired, but the, the writing's on the wall and it is what it is. So that's why, again, when I think about Property 7, because all of the problems stemmed from Property 7, and believe it or not, we didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. When you hear the story, you'll understand. It'll be full, you know, you'll really understand everything. And you're gonna be like, damn, man, that is pretty messed up. All right, let's carry on with this day. Got a lot of things we're hopeful to see happen today. Pick up more work, get some awesome filming going today. And, See what's up with property seven. Good morning to y'all. Happy Tuesday. The whole world's open for business again today. Knock, knock. Ugh. All right, there's the paint. Yeah. Okay, well, at least the countertop looks okay. Okay, good deal. Tom came in here and he did what needed to be done in here. All right. So everything's cleaned up. Yep. Got the paint off the windows. Good job, Tom. Paint off the windows. Okay. Hit it with the semi-gloss. Good job. Okay, carpet. Carpet. Yeah, so if you remember yesterday, this carpet was all sorts of crazy. And now it's not. Good job. So there was all this overspray here, but this is not from us. We tested this. Uh, <clears throat> this is from way before. A lot of this was from way before. And the way that we know is because you can't get it off, right? Remember when I was pulling tape off of here and there was, oh, he already got all that paint off. Well, good for him. Yeah, whoever painted this unit prior to us just did a real shit job. But the real creme de la creme right here 
And hell yeah, Tom. Tom scrubbed the shit out of this carpet. Yeah, he did. Looks a hell of a lot better, I'll, I'll say that. Looks a hell of a lot better. All right, I'm happy with it. How about back in here? Did we get everything that we were supposed to get? Yep, all the overspray that was on the mirror. Hey, Joe Gosselby, look at you, boy. Looking like you ready to go paint some shit. I'm actually not. I'm ready to film videos today. Yep, got the toilet cleaned up. Remember how shitty that was? Okay, got the OxyClean out to do that. The Clorox, whatever. Uh, there was the spots in here. Bang, gone. And that's Tom. Hell yeah. All right, let me load out this last little bit of paint and figure out where to next. Gosh, almighty. All right, hey, uh, 2.14 in the afternoon, and I don't even know where the last time I stopped filming was. The last time I filmed was for this vlog, I should say. So I'm pretty sure I was talking about going out to property seven, and I'm glad I didn't do that because I would end up texting about 8.15 to find out, hey, what's the deal? Um, is the unit going? Is it unlocked? Is what I said. Hey, uh, we're ready to paint that unit. Is that unit unlocked? And the dude would call me, the maintenance dude who had ghosted me, he would call me and tell me, hey, look, yeah, my bad, man. Uh, the people haven't moved out yet and the unit's not going. I'm going to reschedule with you. And I'm like, okay, it kind of sounded a little excuse-ish. Like maybe we're waiting to see a quote from another painter or maybe they are going to keep us. I don't necessarily know. What I do know is I don't know what this car is doing. There's that. Oh, he's got a flat tire. That sucks. Um, regardless, the unit did not go. Oh, shit. I do need to get over. Yeah. All right, good deal. The unit did not go, and I ain't mad at that. We've got one unit going for tomorrow, and good deal. So, in turn what I was able to do today was I was able to go get up with Tom and I was able to do a shit ton of filming for after prison show we filmed a podcast style video we filmed uh some footage of Tom in front of the camera kind of introducing who he is and we filmed some b-roll awesome footage used the drone crashed the drone broke the drone hope I can fix the drone it's only a prop um did a lot of filming today with Tom and it was so good to get back to that good old after prison show, introducing people and sharing their story for a, you know, a greater cause, which is helping them to have their own voice on their own platform. And we did all this filming today and all the footage sucks. I had issues all the way around the board. I wanted my B-roll footage to be uh, 1080, 24 frames per second. Turns out it's 4K, 24 frames per second. No big deal there. My drone footage is 1080, 24 frames per second. So that's going to be off. And then all of my footage that I filmed video-wise is also 1080, 24 frames per second. Um, but... All of this filming that we did is mostly for not because of the fact that I don't like some of the footage. Some of the footage is grainy. The ISO is not right. I was trying to use the Canon cameras. I've been using the Sonys for a long time. And I got the ISO wrong on one of the cameras. So that led to some grainy footage. I wanted to have a, a running theory with the introduction of Tom being the most likable guy in prison. And maybe in prison he is, but this whole most likable guy, it's just not going to work for the overall theme of who Tom is. There's a totally different dynamic to Tom that doesn't have anything to do with likable or not likable. It involves his child, which I think is the stronger attribute in in terms of Tom's story. So again, I'm basing all of this footage around this idea of likability when it's just not really working. So, spent all day filming today, crashing my drone, 
just to end up with mostly unusable footage. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. I can't put the seatbelt on yet because I'm about to be where I need to be at. All right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Wednesday morning as I begin this, freezing balls. A little bit warmer than it's been, though. It's 30 degrees versus 18, so that's a welcome change. Hitting the bank first thing this morning, about close to $10,000 in checks. That there, folks. Be nice. Let me go put these in the bank real quick and I'll get right back with you. Good deal. $9,650, I think. So, a lot of late. Looking for my glasses. A lot of late uh, checks. Got that from. That was two invoices paid from property one, two invoices paid from property two, one invoice paid from property three, and very good receiving all of that. So, what's on the agenda for today? Well, got one unit potentially going over at property two. I'm going to have Bo and Jess on that. Milton's out sick for the week. Donald, ah, uh, God, I'd love to be able to put him to work today. But I, I don't necessarily know that I can. I'm going to see what's going on with property two. If it's big enough, I will put all three people on that unit. Um, Najee, ain't heard nothing. Hasten, I have heard from. I just don't have anything for him. And other another new guy, ain't heard from him. But it, it's okay. I'm not going to dwell on it right this second. I can't dwell on it right this second because I don't have the work. Next week, we will have the work. If I could be in 10 places at one time, I would be out there trying to get more work. But the fact of the matter is, is I'm actually taking this downtime and I'm trying to make the most of it video wise. Spent all day yesterday filming uh, some new content for After Prison Show, a new introduction of sorts and, you know, uh, interesting story to share series wise, I guess. And that involves a guy by the name of Tom, who I know from prison, who... I've done a, a video about, featured on After Prison many, many years ago. A lot of people probably don't even know who this dude is. And who is just recently getting released after his third trip to prison, trying to do it right in his story. You know, it does have some very interesting components to it. Crazy enough to think that everything that we filmed yesterday, we filmed all of this amazing B-roll footage. That was for not. Crashed the drone in the process of that. Went and filmed a podcast style video just to really, you know, reminisce and really introduce people to who this guy is and bring people up to speed on who he is. And that footage came out way too grainy, did not like that. And then we did some just talking head video with Tom as well. And that was quite rough around the edges as well. So pretty much everything we filmed yesterday sucked. And we're going to try to do it all over again today really need to handle some uh, administrative things for sure i gotta get in contact with property 11 i haven't done that yet everything has been invoiced except for them and property six i need to get in contact with property six as well because i need the the po number the work order number uh, for the unit that we painted and cleaned over there and I also need to call to find out about my box truck that I was supposed to find something out about last Wednesday. It is next Wednesday. Now, it's been a week later. Gonna call today for sure because of the fact, hey, it's been a fucking week, stick man. What excuse do you have for me this time? But regardless, I'm gonna go meet with Bo and Jess first thing this morning. Make sure that this unit is going for today. And then I'm getting with Tom and we're gonna do everything that we did yesterday again today, except one different thing that I'm gonna do is throughout the course of filming, I'm gonna be including some behind the scenes footage with this video. That way you guys get 
to see the makings of this new series that I'm working on for After Prison Show. Maybe you'll find some interest in this. Uh, maybe you'll find some interest in that. This guy, Tom, is a super funny dude, man. I mean, he really, he really is. He's a really great guy. He's just made a lot of mistakes in his life, most all of which stem from drug addiction like so many other stories. But you would love this guy sober. And he currently is and is trying to remain that way. You know, it does suck because we talked about so many great things on that podcast style video yesterday. Um, and we're going to have to do that all over again today. But I think yesterday we were really trying, I was really trying too hard to just make it really serious. And I think we're just going to be ourselves. And that will come across so much better. Especially with some better, no grainy footage um in baby news liam is doing amazing my wife has been up most nights with him allowing me to sleep i do get up as often as she needs me to and i mean i get up and most of the time she just tells me she got it uh, but ain't nothing like watching this little boy start to learn how to use his motor functions his motor skills because everything that he's doing right now I mean he's just doing it as his brain develops I imagine you know he'll start to realize that he's smiling because he wants to smile but even just seeing him smile right now there ain't nothing like it there is nothing like seeing this little beautiful baby boy smile we are truly blessed all right Let's hope for a productive day today. Good morning, folks. We're on the grind. Rise and grind. Let's make it happen. All right, leaving from property two. Uh, there was two units over here, but only one of them. Well, and that's it. It's two units for the rest of the week so far. Um, one of the units, the unit that we originally had scheduled for today, there's no power in there. So they're doing the other unit. Uh, Bo and Jess are had a conversation with them about uh, the unit that was left looking like shit. I said we can never ever do that again. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's go get time and let's go do some filming. All right, so we are on location. See these batting cages and whatever all this is. These baseball fields. These are great backdrops. They almost make you feel like you're in prison a little bit. So I said I was gonna share some behind the scenes stuff, what we got going on, uh, trying to film this new series for After Prison Show. And we're out here doing that right now. This is actually day number two. Starting this day off exactly the same way that we had done it yesterday at this park, trying to get this filler footage first. And uh, yeah, I'm with my buddy, Tom. Hi, I'm Tom. And uh, this is day two. Um, I feel uh, optimistic that the repetitiveness of today um, is going to uh, come to fruition. I, I think, I think it's going to be a good thing, man. I really do. Um, and you're wearing white, dude. I mean, that shit is bright. I just want to let you know. It's actually quite dingy. Dude. It's, <laughs> it's white, though, bro. It's, bli it's bright as shit. I'm cocaine down. Yes, you are, cocaine you are crazy. definitely wearing cocaine white <laughs> it's fucking white bro shout out to tom wearing his birth year on his chest right <laughs> no this this is not my birth year although i would i would gladly take this this is actually the only year that i was free <laughs> so, oh man look so i told you tom's a guy man he's a he's a hell of a character he's an awesome guy a guy that i know from the yesteryears and you know where from and tom's also a guy who was on after prison show for a brief moment in time like he did like a video or two with us he actually did a live stream with us he did a tattoo on my side uh tom is a tattoo guy yes i am a tattoo guy i have been known to do a tattoo uh here and there and uh shout out to my uh instagram uh thomas j alexander t you want to see my crap it's on there is it crap no it's not crap it's really good heck yeah man i'm a fucking monster bro like for real well we got tom with us and when you hear his story, he's a guy who laughs and jokes 
quite a bit. He's a real funny guy, a real personable well, guy. Funny how? <laughs> like, Am I a comedian? Like I'm a comedian? Like I'm a fucking clown? Like I'm here to amuse you? <laughs> I love this guy. I swear to God I do. Hey there, good morning. Thursday morning as I begin this and on my way to go get Tom. A uh, guy that I've been filming with, a guy that I know from back in the day in prison, and a guy who's just himself coming home from prison again, trying to get his affairs in order. Um, been doing a lot of filming with Tom as of late. Got some videos getting ready to drop on After Prison Show featuring Tom, and I think the first of those may be today, unless I change my mind and actually film like an intro video, like saying, hey, I've got Tom coming but I've already got the first video put together with them it's a podcast style video and it's fucking pretty good I think it's pretty good um Tom has a vehicle Tom drives but his truck is broke down right now he's in the process of trying to get the truck fixed it's nothing too crazy it's just basically having the time with his mechanic buddy to get the truck fixed and hopefully he's going to be able to do that you know by the end of this week I had uh, plans to film more with Tom today, but we have had a couple of painting jobs pop up on us. So we've got two additional units that have popped up over at Property One and a touch-up unit over at Property One as well. Add that to the other unit that we have over at Property Two, and we got a little bit of work to last the remainder of the week. I'm gonna try to put some other guys to work today uh, yesterday it was only Bo and Jess and you know I know seeing you know the one unit that ended up being real shitty that they had done and uh, you know I know there's been plenty of talk of me even especially saying you know potentially getting rid of them, firing them, whatever. And I know a lot of people have even made comments saying the same thing. But the fact of the matter is, is I got to take what I can get right this second. And they are, for the most part, pretty good. Every so often, sometimes it's at least like once a week or whatever, we're going to have some fuck up. So... Hopefully, we'll be able to write that ship with them. I can't emphasize enough, you know, I, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. I give them a lot of opportunities, that's for sure. But they do always show up and whatever. For whatever the case was of why they dropped the ball the way they did on that one unit, I'll never know. The unit got fixed and that's all that matters. So anyways, moving on. Um, they worked yesterday. They're working again today. I'm trying to get Hasten out today. I'd like to get Donald out today. Maybe fucking Najee as well. Like, put everybody to work today if I can. Um, Tom is going to be painting today. Anyways, i um, going to try to put as many people to work today as I can. I got no idea what's going on over at Property One. Are they one, twos, or three bedrooms? Are they color changes, full color changes, trim changes? Like, I, I have no idea. All I know is we got these two units that popped up plus this touch-up. So I'm going to get Tom, and then we're going to head over to Property One and see who else we can have working today. The guy's going to help me with the fucking, uh, with the truck. Right. He said he can be by here around three. I said, hopefully I'll be done. Well, whatever you got to do, you got to do. Well, I'm just trying to fucking, I'm trying to get a full days in, you know what I'm saying, if I can't. Close to it as they get, you know? All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? We are up in one of a few units we've got going on today. Got Tom with me. Hey, Tom, what's going on, man? Woohoo! Yeah! Killing it, man! Killing it! Uh, the beacon of positivity this guy is. I mean, he really is. Awesome guy. Not filming today, not filming much today, except for this. And we are painting. So, this is a two bedroom trim change. I and look, this is the unit that just definitely is the single man unit. Look at the view you got here. Look at this. Boy, you got the view right at the pool. You could be sitting here hollering at girls from here. Hey, girl. 
All right, so uh, definitely gonna have Tom in this unit, and I'm gonna have Hasten in here. His, his, his fucking name is Jason. All right, uh, if you couldn't figure that out, the other guy's name is Jason. Yeah, so Jason and Tom, they're gonna be in this unit, and then Bo and Jess are doing the touch up in the other unit that we had. That wasn't nothing major, nowhere near as bad as the touch up that I had to do. Uh, the last time I had to do one of those. And then we've also got another one bedroom trim change going, but we're gonna save that unit for tomorrow. I tried to offer Donald some work today. He hasn't responded to me, so probably not gonna be having him. Milton's out sick for the week. I have not talked with Najee. I have not talked with other another new guy. And to be honest, all I really need is just two guys to bust out this unit. Uh, Jason can spray. So he's gonna spray the trim. We're gonna say F to the carpet. We didn't get clarification as to whether or not it's staying or going, but sometimes you have to make those judgment calls for yourself. Is the carpet staying or is the carpet going? And let's go ahead and... Yeah, this carpet's probably definitely going. Um, ain't, no, ain't no saving this. Hey Tom, what's going on with you, man? Taping, brother, taping. We are taping. So funny story about Tom, and there's a lot of funny stories about Tom. We were talking this morning about gay clubs for whatever reason. Why did that even happen? And, uh, you know, I said, well, you know, it's crazy. I did this deep dive, no pun intended, well, on the Waverly bookstore. Or I said this adult video store in Waverly, Virginia, and Tom said, you're not talking about the Waverly bookstore. That's what he's talking about, guys. So Tom actually has some... Experience, I guess. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. It, it was. It was. It wasn't an experience. It was a uh, an encounter. We'll use it as yeah, encounter. That's what it was. An encounter. So uh, that sounds worse than deep dive. Yeah, no, <laughs> it really does. So Joe told me he wanted me to wait until right now to tell you about it. No, I don't want you to tell no, it you yet. Sure, you want to tell me right now? It's we're, pretty good. We're gonna save that for. Another video on After Prison Show. It's pretty damn funny, buddy. Because it involves Tom's ex, who he was mentioning on the podcast feel video. So if you haven't seen any of this content involving this guy, Tom, definitely check out After Prison Show. That's where all of that is at. But, uh, you know, Tom is a hell of a worker. He's a guy who's coming home motivated to get it. He's got a vehicle. He's got tools. He knows how to do things. And, you know, I'm testing him. He mixed up the five-minute mud. Simple task. He uh, did the mud work over there. Looks like Stephen Hawkins did that. Jesus, dude. I, uh, what the fuck? I don't even remember the last, I don't even remember when we, when we were in this unit. So I'm in another unit over here. The maintenance guy tells me, he's like, hey, uh, you guys got some things left in another unit? I said, I don't think so. I go check. And I get to the unit and look at this. We did this unit. I can't remember when we did this unit. It must have been a long time ago. But look at this. Look at this. Like I've been looking for all of this shit. And this is insane. You got to be kidding me, man. All right. Well, let's get it loaded out. This is... <laughs> Oh my God, all right. <sighs> 50 something degrees today. It's gonna be like 60 today. Crazy. All right, it's 1044 in the morning. I'm leaving from property one, been gone from there and I'm going home. I'm gonna spend this day with my wife and I ain't gonna be bothered with no paint and shit. Well, I'll be bothered all day with it, actually. So, here's the deal. We've got three and a half units that need to get done today. And, man, don't really need to get all three of these units done today. Between today and tomorrow, certainly. And we'll, we will get them done. Boy, when you're gone, hey, and you come back, boy, you see all the shit that just wasn't done. So we went into a unit that wasn't loaded out. How are they going to keep trying to tell me that they did load it out? They said, we loaded it out. I said, clearly you did not load it out. I said, nothing you're going to tell me is going to make me believe that this shit just magically appeared back in this unit. 
But anyway, that's not even my bigger issue. The fact that that unit wasn't loaded out. I thought we did that unit months ago. We didn't. We did it last week while I was gone and my son was being born. Uh, what I am more pissed off about is the fact that there were some repairs that needed to be done in that unit that weren't done. There was another unit that was done last week as well that is needing some attention. Repairs in that unit that were missed that need to be done and touch-ups that definitely need to be done. So that's getting done right this second. We've got a new unit that's going today. Uh, and those repairs that were in the unit where the materials magically reappeared in the repairs in that unit those have already been done we just need to get those dried and then painted um we've got a new unit that's going today tom was in that unit i was filming with tom up in there and then the maintenance dude walked in on me i almost said to him hey i'm in here making tiktoks because he's got a tiktok uh but he seemed a little thrown by the fact that I was filming. All I was talking about was the repair work that we had done. There's the mud. There's the repair work. I wasn't saying I wasn't doing anything crazy in there. Um, but anyways, we're getting shit corrected that should have been right from the start from last week. And that is just what it is. Not going to sit here and bitch about it. There's no need to bitch about it, you know. Hey, what could I have honestly expected? It wasn't going to be no better. No other way last week. And thankfully, at this property, Property 1, at least Property 1 is the only property that knows I had a child last week. So if there's any understanding at all, hopefully it's there. And we're getting everything corrected today. Nobody seems to be sweating shit. You know, you're telling me about units yesterday at 5 o'clock in the evening, and we're jumping today, and we're getting those units done. There's a unit still over property two that needs to be done. Damn, there's a fire over here somewhere. I see a lot of smoke. Maybe a car on fire, possibly. Um, there's a unit over property two that still needs to get done. They've already been over there, and I guess they're doing some stuff in that unit. That unit's not necessarily ready just this second, but it will be. And Bo and Jess will go and get that unit corrected. So who do I have working today? I've got Tom, Bo and Jess, and Jason, formerly known as Hayson. Nobody else. I reached out to Donald. Donald didn't reach back out. Donald didn't say nothing to me. So, you know, no big deal there. I'm not going to take that as Donald's gone. Um, he's probably moved on to find other work for the time being, which I cannot be mad at. Traffic stopped here. That's nice. Uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully he'll be available next week. Uh, other, another, other new guy, ain't heard from him at all. Didn't even bother reaching out to him. And sadly, nor Najee. Just don't have enough crew leaders, basically, for those guys who are not that. So it is what it is. The people who are here, they're the ones who are getting it, and hopefully all is going to go well today. It's going to be a little chaotic. It already is. There's a lot of running around trying to touch up this and fix that and correct this, and when it's like that, that's how shit definitely gets missed and forgotten, and we don't load out units, but whatever. I'm available, even though I'm not going to be there. So like I said, I'm going to go spend today with my wife and my son. My wife has been in the house for days. You know, with my son right there in her arm. And I've, I hate to say this, I haven't been, um, she's been 99% with my son and I've been like 1%. And it's not for, a sac, uh, for sake of not wanting to be, but you know, I've been working. Um, but trust and believe, in the nighttime, I do wake up. Every time I hear that baby cough or anything like that, I'm up. And my wife is usually like, hey, I got it, no big deal. But I wanna get my wife out of the house today. We're going to go out to lunch. We're going to take our son out. Like, we'll do something. Get her up out of the house. She needs to get up out the house. I've even thought about taking her to work with me. Putting a paint, putting a paintbrush in my son's hand. That's funny, but it's horrible. Um, so, yeah, that's about the gist of it. Anyways, uh, I'll share more later on. It'll be 3 o'clock by the time I'm going back and checking on units. So, we'll see how today plays out. Hopefully, plays out well.